Hello everybody. Um, today in this video we're going to be talking about the uh, curve fitting, uh, but we are going to uh, use the function instead of using the app that we mentioned in the previous video. Um, so uh, just just uh, to have a quick reminder of how we do the list format, I just talked about it in the previous video uh, quickly, uh, but I want to just go uh, in. Uh, more details here, and this this uh, this uh, uh, curve fitting has been done before um, in the MATLAB series, so you can go and check it if you want. I'll I'll, I'll put the link to that file in the uh, video description. So what we have here is that these are the original data that we started with, and then uh, what we do is actually we calculate the difference between y and y calculated. Uh, the y is the one that we got. Uh, originally from the experiments or from the, the data that we have and the y calculated is calculated based on a sum assumed values of a b and c which are the three variables that we have in this equation um, and uh, what we do it's called the least square method so we get the difference between the y calculated and this y and then we do the the difference part two and we get the sum of all the differences so we do we we do the um, optimization on this or, or we, we minimize this value by getting the minimum value of this by changing the values of a b and c and this is what we did um, and we calculated uh, some values we have here um, the sum score of the error or the difference uh, it's sometimes called um, ssa sum score of errors um, and uh, we calculated the R square. Uh, we did this using the, uh, the solver, and then we calculated the R square, which we mentioned before. It's the uh, goodness of fit. It, it shows how good the fit is. Um, and uh, we had to do all these calculations manually using Excel. And we'll see today how to do the same things um, in MATLAB. Uh, but you have a function that already takes care of everything. So we will see today uh, how we can do all this stuff. So let's uh, go to MATLAB and see. Uh, one, one more thing we will learn today is how to import the data. I think we talked about this before, so we can uh, just uh, import the data as, as one more time to refresh the, the method. So we have the folder that has the file, it's called lecture examples, and the file is called least square method Excel file. Um, uh, and it is already here, um, Excel file, so I'll copy the name. And I'll go to MATLAB and then go to the, um, uh, I'll call data equals XLS read, and then the file name. And, and we need the cells uh, from A4 to B16. Uh, a4 to a let's call it a16 first and then do the same for b16 uh, so it's now busy uh, it's going to be done shortly okay so here's the data I'm, I, i'll call it x instead of data um, and do the same for y and here we will have column b so here's the data, the data that we have, exact same numbers. Uh, oh, I missed something. It's B14 to B16. So the last one should be, so we should have um, 13 values, starting by 3.4 and ending by 120. Yeah, yeah, it, this is true. Okay. Um, so we have the, the, the data here and we are ready to do the fitting. So uh, what we need to do is to use a function called XLS, uh, no, it's called least square, L stands for least, SQ stands for square, curve fit. Um, and once you do this, it will tell you that we have to enter four uh, inputs, the function the x node, which is the initial values of the variables, x data and y data, which is exactly what we did here when we did the solver here. We asked him to change these three uh, by changing uh, this cell to, uh, by changing ABC to make this cell zero. So it's, it's kind of the same thing. We first need to uh, see how we uh, define the function. So the function, I will call it fun. Um, it's, it's going to be a function handle, it's a function of, and here it's, it's one tricky part, it's not function of x now, it's function of two variables. 
uh, or, or this is function of, of y, which is the function of three variables, a, b, c, and x. But my lab will understand a, b, c as three variables in one matrix. Uh, so the matrix will be function of a and x, where the function is a um, multiplied by x plus b divided by x plus um, c. But, but, but this is not b, it's, it's a. One, the first uh, first uh, uh, value in the in the matrix that's called a, and then a two, and then a three. Uh, so now it's a function handle that looks like this, and now I can use the least square curve fit. So let's see least square curve fit, and then we define the function, and then x node I will put any value. One, one, one. Of course, they have to be three because you have three three parameters here, A, B, and C. And now um, the x data and y data. The x data, which is x, y data, which is y. And this is all what I need to do. Uh, you press enter. It's, it's kind of optimization problem. That's why it's called the local minima file. Um, if we if we put this uh, uh, file here, the lab results here, you'll find this point 0.02435. 26.7263 and then 1.5684, which is exactly the same numbers that we got here. Uh, we can get more out of this. Um, so the, the default that the output is the values of the three variables. Uh, you can ask him to uh, to uh, have more than one output. So you can say I want A and B, and then you would find B. It's 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 uh, it's great. You find the B is 0 0.1134, which is exactly this. Um, value here, it's the sum square of the errors. And you can ask MATLAB to do one more thing, which is C. And when you find this C and compare it to what you have here, you would find that these values are exactly the difference between Y and Y calculated. Uh, so it's getting more out of this. It did all, all the calculations the same way we did, but without do, going into details. It's, it's just getting all, all the calculations done. Uh, so now we have A, B, C, uh, sends for the three variables, the sum score of the errors and the um, the error, the error, not the, the, the score of the error. So we have one thing left that we need to do is to calculate the R score, which is, uh, at, uh, to, to the best of my knowledge, that MATLAB does not do it by, by itself, but there is, there is no more outputs like uh, R square. You can have more outputs here, which is are not going to be of interest to us, uh, like this, uh, which is I, I don't know what that. This is just more information about the that thing, um, about the the way we did the optimization, the uh, the iteration that it did. Uh, we can ask it to get more outputs here. Um, nothing of interest. Um, and this is one thing that we need to learn about MATLAB. Um, it's it's more part, very very powerful that it can produce a lot of data, um, and you need to be aware of what kind of data that you have you, you are interested in. So you see that you now you have more one two three four five six seven uh, eight outputs. Oh, there are, there are no more. Outputs. You can have seven outputs out of this, um, and like the, the, the last four do not represent anything useful for me. So for us, I, I, I might uh, find something in the future, but for now I do not know how to do it, but it's, it's a simple calculation. You can do R square um, and you calculate it 1 minus the sum of Y minus Y calculated power 2. And from this uh, here, the Y minus Y calculated uh, is this column. Okay, which is the the uh, the one that we calculated before, uh, which was the C. So you can make sum C power two. Oh, I'm sorry, it's uh, C power two, and then get the sum of it. Um, and C power 2 and get the sum divided by sum of y square which is uh, I don't think we have it we can um, we can do it ourselves so we can oops we can make it sum of y power 
too. Um, and what else? Um, minus sum of y square. Uh, it's sum of y and then power 2. And this is divided by n, which is the length of any one of uh, x or y. And that's it. And here you see the r squared is 0.9968, which is the same value that we got here. We can compare these values to the values that we got before from um, the, the app in the previous video, and they're going to be the same. So it's it's pretty, pretty simple. Uh, all what you need to do is to do this, uh, define the function, and make sure the function is defined that um, uh, it is function of both a and b, uh, like this, or a and x, like this. And the second thing, to put initial values and put x and y. One thing that you might uh, observe now is that in these two cases, when you use the least square curve fit uh, function and when you use the Excel, uh, that you have to enter the initial values of the uh, parameters. Uh, of course, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty important because sometimes if you add uh, or use very far values from the uh, as initial values, it might not get you to the solution um, and it might fail to do this. Uh, but in this case, the one 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 is okay. So, but, but but the point is that you have to put the the initial values here and here. In the app, we didn't do that, um, and this uh, it, you just define the value, the variable, or the equations. Uh, you define x and y data, and it, it does everything by itself. And you will see in the next video why it does this, and we will learn more uh, uh, of the options in the app uh, that might be helpful in some cases. So I'll stop now and see you in the next video. Goodbye.